Hi guys, welcome to 6th grade, chapter 13, lesson 7. We're going to go ahead and get started with number 2. Um, okay, so it says, describe any peaks in the data. Okay, so this is the data that we're looking at, peaks, and I tend to think of them like mountain peaks, right? Okay, so... Looking at it like mountain peaks, you can see that there's one right here, and there's one right here. So, peaks at 0 to 4, and 10 to 14. There we go. Okay? So, now when we're looking at this, do you see any places where there is no data. So any of these places on here that don't have a bar. So I don't see any, so there will be no gaps. Okay. All right. Now they want to know if the graph has any symmetry. Okay. So that means symmetry is when you fold things in half and they're identical. So when I fold a square in half, it would be identical. Okay. When I fold a triangle in half, it's identical. When I fold a circle in half, it's identical. Okay. Um, however, when I fold this map in half, that's definitely not identical. This does not match up. There's no point in this data where it would fold in half and be symmetrical. So, no symmetry. Okay, the reason there's no symmetry is because there is no point to draw a vertical line and get a mirror image. Okay, all it is is if you plunk a mirror down, would it show you that half again? And it doesn't, okay? All right, so Mr. Carpenter teaches five classes each day. For several days in a row, he kept track of the number of students who were late to class and displayed the results on a plot plot. Describe the data, okay? So we're going to look for, I want you to write down, I want you to write peaks. Where do you see peaks in the data? Just like these guys, okay? Just like the little mountain tops over here, okay? So I want you to find peaks. I want you to find gaps. Okay, are there any places where there are no numbers? Okay, and I want you to find clusters. Now, clusters is a little bit new on this. So, here's a cluster, here's a cluster, and here's a cluster. Okay. Okay, but you should be able to find peaks, gaps, and clusters now. Okay, and describe them. Okay? All right, guys, we're going to go over at the back, okay, where you are going to do the lesson check, just like always, and we're going to go down and do spiral review, okay? Spiral review says to look at the dot plot. Where does the gap occur in the data? Well, the only gap that's there is around 31 and 32. So, gap at 31 to 32, okay? Now it says to look at the dot plot and where does the peak occur, okay? Well, while there can be more than one peak, okay, this one's just kind of asking for one peak, so the tallest one is going to be at 37. Peak at 37. Okay. Number five says, which two teams had similar variations in the points earned, but typically earned a different number of points per game? So 
we want the range to be identical. So it's either going to be this or this, okay? So we, we have one of those, okay? So we have this group or we have this group, okay? So the range is the same, but the average is very difficult. Or sorry, not, not very difficult, very different, okay? So the one that's most different is going to be 28 and 20, not 28 and 29. So that would be red and blue. Okay. All right, guys. Manny's monthly electric bill for the past six months are $140, $165, $145, $32, $100, $150, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000,